So hello, we're here with Dr. Danny Faulkner, um, astronomer with Answers in Genesis and one of the board members for CRS. You also kind of help out with the conference. You're one of the main, you, you pretty much run our oh, CRS conference. I'm on the committee. We have a committee that runs the conferences. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you've been to every single one so far, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm the only board member who's been to all nine. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. What is your, your vision for the conference going forward? Well, I need to talk about the past first, I guess. Uh, there are you know, major creation organizations, such as Answers in Genesis, put on uh, creation conferences, as it were, where you come in and hear speakers talking about the relevance of creation, uh, the doctrine of creation. They talk about some of the science, but generally for a lay-level audience. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they get a little advanced, but still it's basic-level stuff. It's not deep science at all. And, uh, the Creation Research Society is a bit different. I mean, our research is our middle name. We sponsor, we, we support, and we promote true scientific research and also other types of research, but research in the creation model. So any, any conferences we do should be a bit more in-depth. Yeah. And it, we are a society. Uh, it's a professional society of creationists. You know, if you're an astronomer, you belong to the American Astronomical Society. If you're a meteorologist, the American Meteorological Society. And so it goes. The Geological Society of America is what geologists belong to. And medicine, you know, the, the um, AMA, okay? So this is a professional society for creationists. We're different from the other organizations. And so we began having um, our conferences about a dozen years ago. And the purpose was to run it like a professional society conference. Uh, we kind of, first meetings we kind of modeled after the American Astronomical Society because this other astronomer and I, that's what we knew, that's what the conferences we go to. And so we have these uh, presentations, usually in parallel sessions that are given, uh, a little half an hour typically with 15 minutes for, for discussion. And these are meant to be uh, projects in, in development, not mm -hmm. a finished product. So when you go to a lot of other creation conferences, you're given finished productions. This is not. This is a, a, an opportunity to give, a, give an idea, a test run around the track, as it were. You get some critical review from some of the people in the audience, and uh, then you can network while you're there. And that's one of the key things that people have learned going to the conference is you get to meet people you've heard about, meet new people, exchange ideas, exchange contacts, and so these relationships are built. Uh, through this. So it truly is a professional conference making it unique among cre creation conferences in the world. And uh, again, I emphasize that these are, are supposed to be uh, not finished projects, but projects that are at various stages of completion. Hopefully, people will publish their uh, results uh, in the quarterly, uh, one of our publications, or if not there, elsewhere. Um, we would like for people who have research grants from us to, to present here. And so going forward, we would, we would like to continue that. We're always looking to expand and upgrade. And you know, the dozen years we've been doing this, we've gotten better. <laughs> the first few conferences were, we had to start somewhere. And, and uh, I'll just say that the quality has increased every time. Mm -hmm. we, we really hit our stride, I think, about four conferences ago. And we continue to improve each time. I, I always tell people this is the best conference ever. Well, I'm, it's not hyperbole. I really do believe it's getting better all the time. Two other features we have, uh, it's a two-day conference, either morning we have a uh, plenary session. These are, are more finished, polished sorts of things. They're longer too, they're 45 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're done by some recognized expert in the field. And it's a review type thing, uh, sometimes explaining uh, in deep more detail for people. Uh, this is not for just everybody, uh, you know, and a little bit involved, more involved than the casual person uh, in the creation science movement. We also have the Henry M. Morris Memorial Lecture. You know, mm -hmm. he, was one, he was one of the founding members, maybe the primary founding member of the society uh, almost 60 years ago, and was a president, second president for several years. So we honor him, his memory, by having this, this memorial lecture. And that is uh, open to the public. Uh, you don't have to be a registrant of the conference to attend that. And uh, generally those are reflections on his life, but also on some aspect of, of creation science. Again, more more for the lay audience than the other presentations. Mm -hmm. Nice. You you mentioned that there's a lot of networking, there's a lot of discussion. Yeah. Can you kind of go into a little bit how much we do that? <laughs> oh yeah, well it, it just, it happens. We don't plan it, but it happens. Mm -hmm. You have breaks in between, uh, you, you meet people, they ask questions uh, during the Q&A, you, you go talk to them afterwards, you exchange cards with them or contact information. This inevitably happens at conventions and that's what's really important at conventions. 
Uh, you know, with COVID-19 last year and even into this year, a lot of conferences went virtual. And our 2020 conference was, we just canceled it because uh, some of our members, well, let's go virtual. And we said, no, you know, the networking you get by being there, you sit down to have a meal, you go out for dinner either evening, you meet at breakfast, you have, during the, in between the sessions, sometimes you just play hooky and, and sit out in the lobby and talk. That is one of the most unanticipated, yet one of the most valuable things that happens at a true conference like this, uh, a true membership, or I should say a societal sort of, sort of conference. And it's spontaneous, it's not planned, but it happens mm -hmm. because we, we know how people work. And that's what I enjoy when I go to my professional societies. I get to meet people that I've either never met or I've heard about, read about, and sometimes uh, just renewing old relationships with them. I haven't seen them in a while. We see this happening all the time. The conference this time, I've seen more networking going on than ever, I think. Mm -hmm. And people are obviously having a good time.